Many people believe that when Moses look at God and said, God, remember, I cannot speak to the people for them to understand what I'm saying. Now, Moses grew up as an Egyptian. And what you all need to understand, the Egyptian language were different from the Hebrews. I want you to hear what I'm saying. Yeah. Amen. Is there anyone that getting what I'm saying? So, yeah. Amen. when he tell, mother, mother, are you close to your phone? The you song very close. I can feel the, when you speak, I feel the effect. Are you close yeah. to your phone? Make sure you're not close to your phone. I want to hear your distance from it. Yeah, okay. What I'm trying to say, people of God, is when Moses said, I cannot speak to the people because I'm a man of stuttering lip, it means that his language that he speak, they would not under understand it. So God had was to prepare his brother, Aaron, I want to hear what I'm saying. Yeah. That can speak more than one language. You understand me, people? Yeah. And when God prepare, um, what's his name? Aaron. Aaron. Aaron was able to speak back to them when Moses speak. I want to be hard hear what I'm saying. Yes, amen. And because Aaron was able to speak back, whenever Moses says something, Aaron translate it. I want to hear what I'm saying. Yes, amen. Amen. And that's how he was able to speak to them. Now, what I'm trying to say, people of God, is Moses carried that grace on his life. And whenever, you see, what many people didn't understand is that each time Pharaoh and his army, whoever, they see Moses come, just imagine how much they are trembling. Because all Pharaoh were living off is witchcraft and the witchcraft cannot overpower the power of god amen so when he go in the midst of them they have to tremble at his voice at the word that god comes with even though he stick out stubborn and it wasn't his fault it was god that was doing it for what is glory Amen. God wants for his grace to show through the life of Moses. This is what you all need to get and understand. So when Moses goes there, people of God, and when Moses speak to Pharaoh, and Pharaoh, my God Almighty, refuse to do, and God speak to Moses and tell Moses what he's going to do, Moses just speak it and it happen. Why? Because of the grace that is upon his life. Amen. To fight Amen. for God's people. That special grace that God has put upon his life. What you need to understand, there were, I don't know if I should say million, but there were thousands of people. You understand me, people? Yeah. That was yeah. under slavery. And the grace that is upon Moses' life was able to cover over everyone. What do we hear what I'm saying? Amen. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. When God sent him into Egypt to lose his people, for his people to be loose. It is the grace that was upon Moses' life when Moses speak. I want to hear what I'm saying, people. Amen. Yeah. When, they, when he go there to talk, 
to the people and tell them that he come to deliver them. They get to understand that really and truly, yes, it is. Because they come to understand that he have a talk with God face to face. Amen. And right there, people of God, what you all need to understand is that when Moses speak, it is the grace of God that push the power. And they come to understand that they have to rely on the power that is in Moses for their deliverance. Want to hear what I'm saying, people? Yes, yes. Many people today, if you all notice what is going on with many ministry today, the grace of God is not there to, to deliver God's people. I want of you hear what I'm saying, people. Amen. There are grace, but it is not the level of grace that God release on some people. I want of you hear what I'm saying. Like what was upon Moses' life. You have one or two people today are carrying such a grace on their life. Really? You all don't get it yet. When you all hear me scream, take the power and tell it to work. That is the grace of God. Jesus, I feel it, I feel it, I feel it. You all might be taking things simple and might be taking things as if. It, you know, it, it don't mean anything to you all. But you see, people of God, in the midst of Moses, when, I'm going to speak something more about Moses. Now look at this. While Moses was there, and they start, they, they go to the, he, he lead the people out of Israel. They go to the seaside. They were still in Israel, but they were all the way, all the way down to the sea. While they was at the seaside, when they look, people of God, they see the army coming to what? Kill them. Yeah. And what God have to do? God himself send on fire. He sent a patch of fire to black all the army off. Yes. In the movie, they showed just a fire rolling from the ground. Mm -mm, it wasn't like that. It, the fire was stretched, people of God, from one corner to the other. As long as that seaside was, the fire was stretched to block the whole army of, of Pharaoh. I wonder if you all hear what I'm saying. Amen. Amen. It was a terrible fire. And right there in the midst of that fire... You need to get and understand people of God. Before that fire was up, God's grace that is upon Moses' life started to speak. God started to speak to him and tell him what to do. And he lift, stand and see the salvation of God. When he lift that staff, that staff, my God Almighty, what it did. It opened up the sea. It was the yeah. grace of God that was operating people. I want, to, I want you all understand what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. And it could not operate with somebody that did not earn it. I want to hear what I'm saying. Moses earned it. Moses was chosen by God for such a time like that, as that, for those people. So when he said, stand and see the salvation of God and that power come in, my God Almighty, you need to understand what happened. The power come down, my God Almighty, and open the Red Sea. And everyone, my God Almighty, that is depending on that grace, started to run through the sea, people of God. Yeah. Gonna be hard, hear what I'm saying? Amen, yeah. 
Thank you for he thank you for being in agreement with me, my dear. So many people on the line and I'm not gonna pump or anything, but then I tell myself I'm not gonna do that anymore. So what happened right there? The grace of God started to operate. And by the grace of God started to operate, they started to see the salvation of God. The grace of God brings in the salvation of God. What is the salvation of God? The manifestation of God's power. I want to hear what I'm saying, people. Amen. The manifestation of God's power. Amen. And all those thousands of people, they follow Moses through the sea. Right there, the grace that is on Moses' life ushers over them. I want you all get what I'm saying. Amen. Yes. Yeah. It ushers over them, which is God's grace. But he allow Moses to my God Almighty carry it. I want you all hear what I'm saying, people. He allow Moses to carry that grace on his life. Many people don't get that yet. He allow Moses to carry that grace upon his life. Many people don't have that grace. That kind of grace, people of God, wasn't no little simple grace. I want, am I speaking back way to anyone? Or am I speaking to hurt anybody? Mother, mother, don't answer. Please don't answer. You don't answer. Am I speaking to hurt anybody's spirit? Amen. This amen. is no amen thing. This is no amen thing. But you see, it's, it's good when you can speak and somebody can respond and people don't understand that. As a prophet of the Most High God, I love joyful sound. Joyful sound. It makes, you know what joyful song do? It causes things to glitter. Amen. It causes things to glitter. I'm not on the radio to say I'm speaking through the radio and people just listening and doing what they're doing. And sometimes they hear, sometimes they don't hear. No. What I'm trying to say, my God Almighty, in the midst of many, 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 many congregations today, there are grace. But the grace that are carrying many ministry today are grace that are limited. Yes. Limited grace. Yes. The, agape, the agape grace can't able to come in. I want you all hear what I'm saying, people. Yes. There are the, the, you have the agape grace. And you have just grace. I want to hear what I'm saying. Amen. Yes. The agape grace people of God is when God is in control. Yes. Amen. The grace that my God Almighty just come and sit without power. Those grace are run by man. I want to hear what I'm saying. Yes. Amen. Nothing. God allow a person to have that grace. But the grace that he want to push himself through. He can't able to do that in many places. So you find, that is the reason why you find many children of God are under attack and there is no help. There is no help. Because the grace that is there is limited. Yeah, yeah. God do not have the chance to do what he want to do through that grace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You find yeah. my God Almighty in the midst. People are sick but there is no healing power. Because the grace don't carry that healing power in the midst. That's right. 
You find many people, my God Almighty, when the enemy come in like a flood, the Spirit of God can't able to lift up a standard. Because it, the grace is limited. Yeah. The grace is limited because why? The cargo that's supposed to carry that grace is thinking about many other things different from God. Yeah. So you find my God Almighty in the midst of many places. Even when there is wor worshiping and what have you going on. It don't, it's, it's just an excitement. It's just a feel good thing. How do you all hear what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I want you all to understand me. Because in the midst of worship, it must not be just excitement. Let me say this to you all, people of God. Worship must not just be excitement. Worship must be in the midst. If, 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 if it's not healing, it must be manifestation or revelation. And if you hear what I'm saying. Amen. Yeah. And Amen. and healing, as a matter of fact, healing comes with everything because it can heal your mind. It can have you to start look deep into situation. It can have you to start getting a clear revelation. It can have you to start seeing things different. Jesus Christ, God Almighty. Glory be to God. So what I'm saying, people of God, worship, worship and praising God must do, what, must do something different in your life. Different. They can't be, you know, you're having worship and then when worship finishes, you still remain the same. Come on, talk to me. There must be a change in your spirit. There must be a change where your situation is concerned. You must be able to can see things more than all you can. Get what I'm saying, people. Get what I am saying. Yeah. When the grace of God is not in the midst, nothing happens. Just a feel-good thing. Just a feel-good thing. Understand what I'm saying, people? Yes. Yeah. People, my God Almighty, come in inside the sanctuary. Somebody pushing somebody Mind in a week. Muted. Jesus, have mercy, my God. Mine unmuted. Somebody push somebody. A person push somebody into a wheelchair. What happened right there? You see, they push them out back. Church finished. Oh, what service? Oh, church was great. It was wonderful. If it was me like you, I would not open my mouth and say that. Because the only greatness is when God comes in and do what he's supposed to do. Talk to me. Amen, yes. It's when the grace of God in the midst to do great and mighty things in the midst of the congregation even if the man or the woman of god don't lay hands don't do anything the power of god must have all the opportunity to move and do as he like why because the grace that he put upon the servant of of of, of god life the grace that he put upon his servant in that man or in that woman life they are saying have thine own way, Lord. Have thine own way. Thou art the potter. I am the clay. Mold me and make me into what you want today. I want to be all hear what I'm saying. Amen. Yeah. And right there. The grace of God will have liberty. Why? Because there is an agreement between the man of God and the spirit of God. Amen. So right there, the grace of God will operate. I wonder if you all get what I'm saying. 
Amen. That grace that God has put up on a personal life, it don't take my God Almighty only when you come into the sanctuary. You are ready for it. You have to be living a special life. Yeah. Well, we all understand what I'm saying. Yeah. It takes a lot of sacrifice. Yeah. That's why I don't understand. Many people, they can come and teach and preach. But they can only tell you, my God Almighty, about the Bible. What happened in the Bible, but they cannot tell what God does in their life. Come on, talk to me. Yes, you do. They cannot tell what God has done in their life towards people. And that is to show that there is no special grace there operating. That is the reason why many people can be going through hell. And their leaders, they cannot do nothing for them. Why? Because the grace is not upon that leader life. Yes, that's true. Yes. The grace is not there. That kind of grace that God wants to release is not there. Because each person chooses the way they want to do for God. Some people today, my God Almighty, in the midst of living for God, having a sanctuary, said they're a man or a woman of God. It's like going today to look a job. And if you are not qualified for a certain position, you don't get it. That's what's going on in the house of God many, many places today. Many places today, that's what is going on in the house of God. A person chooses to be a man of God, a pastor, whatever. But my God Almighty, only certain level he wants to flow on. If a person is in the sanctuary, that is pack of demon, my God Almighty, he makes sure he don't uh, take his eyes to look on that person. They, the, the, the first thing they do, they call the nurse. They call the nurse to check them to see if their blood pressure gone up. If this, they are, all they're about is this physical. They're not, they don't have eyes to see that it is a spiritual situation that need to dealt with. Come on, talk to me. Because the grace of God is not there to take over. So you find my God Almighty in the midst, my God Almighty, of such a revelation, my God Almighty. In the midst of such a situation, you find the people perish because there are lack of knowledge. Yes, 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 amen. The grace is not dear to operate. I wonder if you are, I feel the power of God. Revelation! Many people talk about the grace, but they don't understand. There are levels of grace. And many people are not carrying the level that God wants to release. Many people today, when they see, my God Almighty, certain levels of grace and some man or some woman of God, they said, my God Almighty, all kind of things about them. They would be quick to criticize. They would be quick to speak and say whatever they want to say when they don't seem to get or understand. I rise up to say, and this is not to tell anyone or to get anyone to say, oh, I must leave my church and I must come. Now, it's freely come. 
Yeah. Freely stay. Freely do whatever God yeah. say, not what man say. Yeah. But I rise up right at this yeah. moment to yeah. say, if you are going, my God Almighty, to a sanctuary, and there is not a grace to cover you, demon, witchcraft, all kind of things will take you to your grave. Yes. Amen. Amen. That's true. And you find many people today, my God Almighty, they are comfortable where they are. It's all about the beauty. It's all about the, the this and the that and the, you know, what you would call it. All about the chandeliers and all about, who inside here is nice. Who inside here is this. Who inside here is that. Who the sanctuary is pretty. Who my sanctuary come on the television. We come on the, 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 the radio. Are we, we are on YouTube. We are this, we are that. Da, 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 da. And those, my God, and you find, my God Almighty, in the midst, you, you maybe have some little sanctuary today that nobody know much about. The power of God is tearing down the place there. Come on, talk to me. Yes. Yes. Amen. 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 Great things. Great things are going on right there. I rise up to say, my God Almighty, when you are in the midst, my God Almighty, and whatever covering you're under, Rabba Satoria Bashende. Whenever you're in the midst, my God Almighty, and you're in a place, and the grace of God is not operating there, it is like my God. I don't know about nobody. This is how I see it. This is how I feel it. But it is like my God Almighty when you're joined in, and you, my God, you have nothing to hold on to. Nothing to hold on to. You're grabbing on here. You're grabbing on water. You're, you're just grabbing on your own finger because you cannot touch water and grab it and hold it all to it. Come on, talk to me. And people of God to apologize when you all make mistakes. Come on. God is a God of decent and in order. God is a God of decent and in order. And he see everything that we all are doing. Yes. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Entry notice on. So what I was saying, my God Almighty, is that in the midst, my God Almighty, of many places, the grace of God is not there to protect. It's not. The grace of God, hallelujah, is in the midst, just like when the word of God said, okay, did you know that the grace you have, you have, you have many grace that have to be swinging. Listen to this. Have to be swinging with the blood, the water, and the Holy Spirit. Can we all hear what I say? Amen. Yeah. I said there are many grace that are swinging with the blood, the water, and the Holy Spirit. Waiting on somebody to release, to release it to them. Somebody that God is preparing today for the work of God. Somebody. Because you all need to get and understand many start out with the grace and they end up, my God Almighty, without it. Because of many things. Because of many things. Many people, they get busy they get so caught up into this and to that and name it. And they have no time for God. And I rise up to say, my God Almighty, when you are carrying such a grace on your life, it can't be today I for him and tomorrow I'm not. It cannot. The grace don't abide like that. But if you hear what I'm saying, people, it don't abide like that. That is the reason why I always tell people it is, my God Almighty, one of the hardest things to say, my God Almighty, that you are doing powerful work for God and then have to be working. It's very hard. Very hard. Because I tell you something, when you're on the job and if you feel the power of God moving and you're ready to shout, unless your boss or your supervisor is a real child of God and they, know, and they are in agreement with it. Come on, talk to me. Something happened and somebody said they need you. You can't even take the phone said you are praying. 
Because right there, somebody is watching. And whatever move you make, you can lose your job for that. Come on, talk to me. You can lose your job. Amen. Amen. You can lose your job. But when you're carrying such a grace upon your life, I rise up to say, people of God, as soon as my God Almighty, somebody need you in the midst, they must be able to, you know, I bless God. Listen to me. I'm going to say something, and I bless God. I bless him. It's all about God's glory. It's all about the glory of God. I thank him to know that in the midst of all of you that is on this empowerment line, whenever trials, tribulation, whatever comes, you don't have to take up your phone and call me, even though many of you don't have my number. You don't need to do it. You have a lifeline. Come on, people. You have a YouTube channel that have the power still flowing. Come on, people. I give God praise for that. I give God praise for that. Whenever, that is the reason why I have to keep praying. I could be here, my God Almighty, and I just felt just like Sunday when I get off the line. And when I remember that Sunday was the second, when I remember that it was the first Sunday of the um, tr um day of the of the month, the, f the first Sunday of the month, and you know, the September just come in and I know what the enemy is doing. And I, listen to me, I ever hear is that listen to the enemy conversation, don't care how far he is planning. I hear him, I hear him because I'm stuck in the realm of the spirit. And whenever my God Almighty, I'm dear, and people of God, I was sitting down there, my God Almighty, and I just felt something strong. And I get up, my God Almighty, and I took the record up and I go in the yard and I start to pray. That's how I come forth with that prayer. If you all see the prayer that I pray, there's a prayer that I pray. What's the name of it? I don't know. Um, Sister Gay is not online. So what's the prayer? What's the prayer? Oh, God, I wish if somebody know it. If you all... The prayer is like whatever secret place Satan is hiding, he will not bring any disgrace on God's people. Whatever secret Amen. Satan is planning, he will not bring any disgrace on God's people. And that's what come up in my spirit and I start to war in the yard. I start to war. And I pray that prayer and as soon as I finish it, I come and I load it up. I name it, I load it and I Send it out on the YouTube channel. I say, God, let this prayer work for your people. Amen. Let this prayer work for your people. Because you all don't understand. God bless the few that decided to have me as a spiritual. I this, this is one thing I don't force and I don't pump. Because some people will come and say, oh, I want you to be my spiritual parents. And two Tuesday go something at somewhere and somebody tell him, how can you have a line for a church? Now, nothing don't go like that. God is not coming back for a line. He's coming for a church. And you standing there listening and believe them and don't understand that you are the church. You are the church. Amen. Not even the building that you're going to is the church. Not even the building that you go into. Not even the building that you go into is the church. And many people are just letting things fool in them. And the few people, my God Almighty. You see, and, and, and you know, people of God, it's all about love. That's all I can say. It's all about the love of God. Amen. Amen. 